construction began on a series of channels to improve outflow of the lake into the Nelson River system. Two Mile Channel provides an additional outlet for Lake Winnipeg water to flow into Play Green Lake, especially during the winter months when ice can restrict the outflow of water at the natural outlet at Warren Landing. The Eight Mile and Ominawin Bypass Channels, along with numerous other channel improvements, help keep Lake Winnipeg water moving down the Nelson by bypassing natural restrictions such as rapids and shallow channels. 100 kilometers downstream from the lake outlet is the Genpeg generating station and control structure. Built on the Nelson's west channel, Genpeg controls the flow of this additional water into Cross Lake and on downstream to Hydro's power plants. Finally, the Kiskatoo Dam was built to prevent water from backing up into Kiskatoo Lake, creating a natural preserve. When operating at maximum discharge, the regulation works allow up to 50% more water to flow out of Lake Winnipeg when compared to its pre-regulated state. Most construction was completed in 1976, and regulation began in 1977. The Genpeg generating station was completed in 1979. We're here at the outlet to Two Mile Channel. Behind me is Play Green Lake, the first body of water on the Nelson River system. And two miles that way is Lake Winnipeg. So how does it all work? How does Manitoba Hydro regulate Lake Winnipeg for both hydroelectric power production and flood control purposes? The interim license allows Manitoba Hydro to adjust or regulate the outflow of Lake Winnipeg for power purposes whenever the lake level is between 711 and 715. If the water level goes below 711, then the Minister of Water Stewardship assumes responsibility for directing the operations. If it goes above 715, then Manitoba Hydro is, is obligated to maximize the discharge until the water comes down to the level comes down to 715 again. Lake Winnipeg Regulation is a multi-purpose project. It's designed to provide flood relief to the people around Lake Winnipeg by getting more water out during high flow years, but it's also provided more water to our generating stations on the Lower Nelson River. The third aspect of Lake Winnipeg Regulation is low level support. So during low flow years, we can hold more water back into Lake Winnipeg and provide for better navigation around the lake. Well, Lake Winnipeg regulation is the main uh, flow control out of Lake Winnipeg. Those flows supply uh, our whole Nelson River generation uh, system, uh, which supplies 80% of the energy produced in Manitoba. So it's a key um, operating point in our system, and it ensures that we have reliable uh, levels of flow for winter production on the Nelson River. In addition to that, should conditions turn dry, uh, we can plan to uh, reliably meet the, the power supply needs of Manitobans through a, a winter when inflows to Lake Winnipeg are, are low. We can use that storage to augment uh, flows on the Nelson River and, and produce uh, power in the winter. Well, there's a big misperception that there's a big dam at the north end of Lake Winnipeg. Lake Winnipeg regulation is actually a series of floodways. It's a way to get more water out. The natural outlet of Lake Winnipeg at Warren's Landing is very wide and shallow. And during the winter, it wasn't uncommon for ice to build up and to hold water back into Lake Winnipeg. And that's why before regulation in the 60s, you would have a high water event that would last for several years because the water couldn't get past that restriction in wintertime. And then the new spring freshet would come in and it would just build on itself. So it doesn't eliminate the flood, but it really reduces that impact and the duration. 